Simple Cyber Defense Weekly Updates for May 3rd, 2020. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense Podcast. And this week, we're going to be discussing some major Windows 10 operating system flaws, which affects mostly web browsers and antiviruses. So let's begin. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how Windows 10's latest update has broken many web browsers, particularly the Chromium-based ones and also Firefox. So what is going on? A recent Windows 10 update has basically destroyed the way the Chromium sandbox works. What is a sandbox? Well, a sandbox is basically a little piece of software that contains insecure programs from running amok throughout the entire operating system. Chromium uses this as a way to contain certain things so that your operating system doesn't get affected by malicious downloads. So what exactly happened? So what happened? Basically what happened is Windows 10 update can enable a online attacker to hijack your Chromium browser and break its security to spread viruses and malware into Windows itself. How this happened is the patch changed the way everything works with Chromium, uh, Chromium's sandbox. So with these changes, the Chromium sandbox does not work exactly as intended. And there's no way for Chrome or Firefox or any other program to basically change this because this is deep within Windows 10 and this also affects Firefox because they also use the Chromium sandbox to contain most of their downloads so that it doesn't affect so malicious downloads don't affect Windows which is understandable this issue also complexes things because the patch does solve the sandbox issue however the solution can include deleting some of the user's files so basically you're stuck between one or two choices update to secure everything and lose risk losing your files or don't update and be vulnerable to attacks because of all these major issues there's been a major push from many people online to just get away from Windows 10 altogether. Some people may find that a lot harder to do than others because Windows 10 is very comfortable for many users and they don't want to change things up. However, with this next issue, that may change very soon because many popular antiviruses has also have security issues where many attackers could just basically bypass the antivirus and install malware. More than two dozen popular antivirus solutions contains a flaw that could enable hackers to delete files, trigger crashes, and install malware, according to new reports from cybersecurity experts Rack 911 Labs. This is very troubling because this gives the attacker a lot of power to take over the system. Most of the effective vendors including Symantec, McAfee, and AVG have already patched the flaw. Even though this flaw has been patched, many others could pop up and may not be patched or even known about right now. So again, this is another big push for people to stay away from Windows. 
but however this issue is a little bit more complicated because it not only applies to Windows but also applies to Linux and Mac this is an antivirus issue and not running an antivirus is more damaging than trying to deal with these issues so just remember to keep everything up to date as best as you can and be very cautious about what websites you go to and what you download because if you're noticing abnormalities like files just randomly disappearing or just program crashing most likely that's a cause of malware or a virus and the best thing to do then is just try to clean it off your system and restart fresh from the beginning the sad truth about antiviruses is they're not 100% foolproof but they're better than nothing they're they do have their flaws but it shouldn't be 100% relied on as a foolproof solution like many people do think oh I have antivirus I'm fully protected that's not always the case as you can see these bug bugs do pop up and there are ways to get around antiviruses they're just a tool in what you could use but shouldn't be relied on 100% a lot of the times viruses and malware could be stopped just simply by education of the user where they know what to do and what to download and what not to download so this concludes this week's security updates and just remember keep everything up to date and be very mindful of what you not only install but download and which websites you go to just simple things could keep your security up to date and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode if you like what was in this episode please consider liking subscribing and sharing with others for more information to suggest a topic or to donate head over to simplecyberdefense.com